who are so heavy they can't walk more than 50 metres have been issued with disabled parking permits. Blue badges, which have previously only been awarded to those with a disability, they're now being handed out to severely overweight motorists by some councils, Walsall, Coventry, uh, being a couple of them. Tam Fry, spokesman for the National Obesity Forum. Hello, Tam. Good evening. Good evening. Fatima Parker, size acceptance campaigner. Good evening, Stephen. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Do you support this? Do you welcome this move, Fatima? Um, I think if it helps the patient, uh, I do uh, welcome it because there's so many things offered, so very few things offered to fat people uh, that um, any little help that we can get, uh, we thank uh, the um, local authority or government mm. or whomever is uh, offering. So, um, if so if you're fat, you, get, you get better parking? In fact, you get not free you, parking. Not if you are fat. If well, you are disabled well, for any reason. Yeah, but if you're disabled because you're so fat, <laughs> if you've made yourself disabled, yes, yes, this is you get this. free parking. You can't make yourself disabled. There are so many reasons that people become disabled. Uh, let's uh, let's keep it to fat. Okay, you can make yourself fat. This is, uh, that's the mantra, that's what they keep saying, that we self-inflict, that we make ourselves fat. I don't know anyone really, you know, from the millions of people who are fat, that wake up in the morning and say, today I'm going to put on three or four stone, let's stuff my face, unless they're a sumo wrestler. Uh, but um, if people, I mean, like uh, the um, the segment before, you were talking about ageism. There is a lot of discrimination against fat people. There is a fatism as well in medical care. And the doctors, as soon as they see a fat patient, they say lose weight and everything will be fine. And this is not uh, really uh, the solution because uh, this might end up get these people to become fatter and fatter and fatter, and uh, then they'll have problems with mobility. What are your thoughts, Tam? I, I, I totally disapprove of a blanket gift of these blue badges to uh, large overweight people. I think that it should be kept to those who are really disabled. And I think that the councils who are starting to uh, hand out these badges need to have some kind of doctor's certificate because there will be many, many people who are very large through no fault of their own. They will have medical problems. Well, they are assessed, Tam. They, they, these blue badges are only given to people who are so fat they can't walk more than 50 metres. Well, I'm sorry. I think that that's pandering to fatness. And uh, I think that uh, uh, Fatima is saying that there's discrimination against fat people. I think that uh, people are very fair with fat people. And if they are yeah. eating themselves into that kind of state, I mean, um, that is for them to bear. This is a message that uh, the uh, many, many people who are for weight loss have been uh, scare, I mean, sending a scaremongering as far as I, as I know from the millions of people that are uh, suffering. Uh, oh, fair, fair where? I mean, ask any fat person who goes to the doctor and the first thing they tell them is lose weight. Uh, your uh, ankles are swollen, your feet are swollen because of uh, overweight. Uh, we can't give you an operation because you're too fat. You are not going to have a, a hip replacement. But, but, but is it not... Uh, can I make a suggestion, yes, Fatima? Yes, please. Go ahead, Stephen. Well, so you get the blue badge and you've got preferential parking because you're fat, right? You can't mm. walk more than 50 metres. Yeah, because, I mean, because you can't walk more than 50 yes. metres. If the doctors looked in and f to find out, why does that person, why, why can't they walk more because than 50 Because they're fat. No, no, not necessarily. There are so many, I mean, what do you say about the sumo wrestlers? They can walk more than 100 metres. I mean, they, they, so, they're, they're so here, athletes. Here's my point, Fatima. Yes. My point is this. Mm -hmm. If you're fat. Yes. Well, maybe you need to walk more. Oh, we've done that. All these methods that they've been selling for years. M walk more, exercise more and eat less. It hasn't helped. It has created more problems, even with the non-fat. You see, you have uh, many conditions. Uh, fatness can be a symptom of other diseases that doctors don't look at. Yeah, it can also be a symptom of too, much, too many burgers, Fatima. <laughs> This is, I mean, this is really discrimination and this is stereotyping. What do you mean, uh, too, 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 discrimination? It is discrimination. Well, of course it's discrimination. It's not discrimination. It's it fact. Is. 
It is not. How is it discrimination? It's that's fat. Well, that's what they teach us. I mean, I'm fat. I'm probably fatter than you, and I don't I eat burgers. I pretty much doubt you're fatter than me. Oh, Listen, I am, I, I am. I'll take your fat, and I'll raise you. No, darling. <laughs> we are not at a, a fat battle. But uh, what I mean is I'm fatter than you, and I don't eat burgers. People. Uh, lifestyle... Don't you start that now. Pardon? Don't start that. If you're fat... You're yes. eating burgers. You're no, eating chocolate. I don't, I don't You're eating eat, no, There no, is no, no. no this is, way. This I, is the stereotypical idea. Fatima, that they I'm one of the very few. I'm one of the very few presenters that can get away with saying this. But I'm telling you now, right. if you're going to tell me yes. that you are fat uh-huh. and that you're eating lettuce leaves, I don't believe you. I don't eat lettuce leaves. Yeah, I you're don't because burgers. they're not. They're not neutral. No, I don't. You eat are bur- secretly eating burgers, Fatima. No, no. Why should I be? You see, the the paradigm has changed in my head and the head of of, of thousands of people that what is important to me is not looking twiggy, you know, like thin, but looking healthy and being healthy. I mean, you look healthy. You look uh, what? you know, like charming. And I, and I see your beautiful face and it's all nice and Fatima, shiny. You've lost the plot. I haven't. I haven't and I won't. Because let's, let's, not, let's say now they've given uh, uh, half a dozen uh, badges to people and it's already a catastrophe. Yes. Uh, if we carry on pushing the same old failed methods of lose weight, eat less and exercise more, we're going to have thousands and thousands of badges given to people because what else would they do if they can't walk? They're going to sit at home and become 70 stone. Wow. This is Anne in Sussex. Hello, Anne. Oh, lovely to, to speak to you. Nice to speak to you. I, have, you got much, I, uh, have you got much sympathy for Fatima in our fat debate here? I'm li- listening to that lady, and you know I'd like to strangle her. I well, really now, would. No, come you, on. You're fat, te- telling me that, that um, you can't help yourself getting fat. Obese people, they bring it on themselves. I have no sympathy for anybody. Well, I would like, you to, sp- I would like you to speak, Anne, directly to Fatima tonight, who's fat. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, the, the, the reason you are fat is right. because you stuff yourself. Right. You do not exercise. If you got off your backside, went mm. walking, had exercise and ate properly, you would not be fat. Thank and how you very dare much. You, how dare you think right. that you should have a disability badge? Well, let's I think I do, it's a disgrace. I, 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 do not, I do not uh, ask for a disability badge. First of all, I don't see why you hate me. You don't even know me. You, ha- you, you, you haven't I lived with me. You, you probably you. know other fat people who eat too much. I like, don't hate you, you don't, you. I yes, hate you do. You your your language, madame, is very hateful. How really? dare you? You eat too much. You, I mean, uh, where have you trained in, in, in bariatric uh, uh, and, and, and fat people's health? How do you know? Have you uh, been li- lived with me? Do, do, you, do you have a degree in, in fat people's so why behavior? So Fatima, why, Fatima, do you believe you are overweight? Yes, that's I, I don't I believe I'm know. overweight. I'm just, I believe that I am the, the way that my body is due, due to years and years and years of dieting. You diet, you lose and you put on more. You lose and you put on more and more so and I, so on and so why, forth. Why do you put on more? You because put it is the nature of my... Yourself excuse me, madame, I don't I don't want to be rude to you, you uh, uh, because I, I don't hate you. You see, uh, you, you're don't free hate to anybody. understand. Yes, yes, right, okay. you you do. You you are you're okay. being nasty well, and let's, you're being okay. Well, let's let's uh, calm, let's calm down one second. But but Fatima, can yeah. you give me a can you give me a sense of your height and weight? Uh, I'm 17 stone and about uh, uh, five foot five or something like that. So that's I overweight. I mean, Mr. Uh, Pam uh, Fry knows me. Right. So we w- we would both agree that's overweight. Uh, no, that's not overweight. It is you overweight. See, if we if we go by this BMI and this overweight and underweight, over what weight? Five foot five I am and at the 17 moment, stone. Uh, 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 Stephen, I am at the weight that my body at the moment, with all the conditions and all the the years of my life and all the things that. I've been through that my body is at. It's probably mm-hmm. it has a little, it has a lot more oh. fat cells. But you don't know what's happening in the chemistry. Yeah. It's probably creating more fat cells to uh, to, to uh, probably get away from all these insults and, and the humiliation that we get from people. You know, yeah. I, I need to protect it on myself because of the amount of food you eat. Well, how do you know, Madame? How do you know how much I eat? How well, do you know? And Anne, Anne, Anne and Sussex, you say you bring it on yourself, but there are you many, do. many people. You know, I'm one of them, man. There are many people who, right throughout their life, they, they struggle. Yes. Uh, and I, I, I can't tell you one diet I haven't tried, and I just get Good. fatter my whole life, Anne. Yes, yes. So do you, do you understand that it's not easy, Anne? 
Well, the thing is, I'm I'm 74. Right. I'm four foot eleven. I weigh seven and a half stone. And the reason I weigh seven and a half stone is I watch what I eat. I eat good food, vegetables, fruit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, mm. And I walk twice a day. Oh no, I don't now, do if, walking. If I didn't do all that, I would be fat because yes. I would sit all day stuffing myself. No, there are many people, Madame Anne, that would uh, that are as beautiful as you are, and as slim as you are, yes. who eat all, uh, all all sorts of food. And and sit down okay. all day at, at the office or sit down watching television. This is not a, 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 a rule that says if you move a lot, you're going to, well, to grow I've, 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 I've just had this thought. I think I should put you two into the, the Big Brother house. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but, no, but I, I, I really uh, don't. I mean, uh, Stephen, well, I am yes. talking, uh, I am the voice of millions of, of women who are suffering and men no, who are suffering. We just uh, want to just say, please stop bashing fat people okay. and help uh, everybody to be healthy. Okay. I don't mind being right. uh, having health advice Fa- instead Falma, of insults. Thank you very much indeed. Tam, thank you. And thank you. We'll pause there. Here's the news.